Welcome back. In this video, we will try to test our implementation of convolution neural networks. So, let's first, uh, as you already know, if you not watched the previous video, we have built our own architecture here using uh, convolutional operation provided by PyTorch. And now, let's first quickly make an object. Let's call it net, and then uh, we'll also create. Uh, let's first print the parameters, right? All the weights. So that you can understand what's actually happening under the hood. So it's basically for parameters in parameters, we loop through all the parameters and then to access the shape, we'll first need to access the data, which is the raw data, and then we convert that to numpy from tensor and then we access that shape. So that's straightforward. <laughs> okay, let's now quickly create a cost function uh, that is torch.nn.cost and be loss. And then let's just use an optimizer. We'll use SGD, torch.optim.sgd is the syntax. It will take net.parameters, that is the parameters that you want to optimize. The learning rate, I have set it to 0 0.001. Uh, well, I have not fine tuned it, so it's just the first value at the back of my head. And then we'll use momentum and the hyperparameter, I have set that to 0 0.9, which is usually set to 0 0.9 most of the times. Okay, so let's build train model this function will train the model and it will take one argument that is epochs the number of times you want to run the uh, number of times you want to train the network number of iterations basically first let's set the uh, network into training mode and to do that you just need net dot train this will set the model to training mode this is not uh, you know something that you have to do most of the times but it is recommended uh, by best pytorch practitioners uh, that you need to set the model to train training mode before starting to train because some of the uh, functions such as max pooling function they they uh, perform differently when using when using in training mode as well as when using in evaluation mode so when you get accuracy you will set that to evaluation mode that can be set by using net dot eval you can call that function so okay so let's now uh, <laughs> iterate through epochs and then first let's calculate our list to uh, store the losses and then let's create cumulative loss that is continuous loss okay so now let's look for each of the batch in training set so first let's enumerate it so this for i and batch i will keep track of the number and we will enumerate train set starting from zero okay so each batch contains the uh, data as well as the labels. So we extract that. We'll predict using network and passing the data. Then we'll calculate the loss using cost function. Then we will add the loss in C log, that is continuous loss. And we will divide it. Uh, well, we'll, to access that loss, we'll use loss.item, which stores the loss itself. And then we'll first set the optimizer to zero grad so that it previous gradients won't affect the next one. And then we'll say optimizer dot step, uh, sorry, loss the backward, and then optimizer dot step, and we will print the loss every hundredth time. So we'll track every hundredth loss. So if i is divisible by hundred, which for the first time it will be, so let's leave that. It will print on zero iteration. So what we'll do is we will append this losses in this dictionary or list, and then we will. <coughs> print every thousandth time okay <coughs> and set the c loss to zero <laughs> sorry now finally what we'll do is we'll calculate the accuracy <coughs> so we have not built this function yet so we'll build this after that and we will also plot this loss uh, dictionary so that we can see the loss going down or going up wherever it goes. Right, so the function is working fine, our implementation is working fine, the loss will go down. And you, we are using momentum, so it will be kind of uh, zigzag, but it should go down. So we'll plot losses and we will label the epoch, the epoch number. So first time it will be one, uh, zero, one, like that. And then let's just give it a legend, which is basically uh, a label and then after this, the, all the epochs end, we will just show that. Okay. I guess 
<coughs> you got it here then let's implement this function called accuracy so let's implement accuracy and it will set first it will set the network to evaluation mode that is network eval and then we'll say correct hits and total hits and accuracy to zero then we we'll loop through all the batches in test set we we'll predict them and then we will uh, return predict, uh, so we'll use that we'll use torch dot function a uh, torch function torch dot max it takes two arguments prediction dot data and we pass in one to say that it will return maximum as well as its index but right now we don't need uh, the maximum value we just need its index to uh, compare it with this class name here there are 10 classes so we just need the class which has the maximum probability not the index of the class which has maximum probability not the probability itself so this function toss dot max with prediction dot data and one will return uh, the index as well as the max but we will not save the max so that's why we are just discarding the max maximum value okay. so <laughs> we'll just in uh, increment total by the size of this batch itself and then correct hits will be incremented if prediction is equal equal to the output then all of those will be set to one otherwise it will be set to zero and we will just sum all of them and then we will extract the raw data that is the item okay now calculate the accuracy is equal to it's just a simple formula that is parent hits divided by total number of hits into 100 and we'll just print accuracy so let me just print accuracy Let me just convert this into a string so that we can print it here and accuracy. Okay. So finally, let's try to run this function. So I'll just set if name equals to main just run train model with two epochs and let's see what happens and let's just try to run this python classification .py. Uh, okay we have an error so let's just try to fix it in line number 34 okay uh, oh we i don't know how this happened maybe i just deleted this so let me just transform is equal to transforms dot compose and then it will take I guess <coughs> let's find I've already explained what this does in first video or second video I don't remember uh, let me just check if everything else is working fine so files are downloaded and what else s left is not defined maybe I've just used self but instead of that I've used S left and where is this it is here so yeah these are all the typos that we need to take care of and uh, let me just run this and let's see if there are any other errors okay so it has started to run and it will take a bit of time because the data set is very really large i'll pause the video now and i will resume once i have the output on the screen So here is the uh, output of the program. So as you can see, first of all, this is the figure and this is the loss. Uh, so first let me just show you the loss. So here, as you printed here, epoch number, the batch and the continuous loss. So it goes on decreasing in both the epochs and then we'll see the loss. For the first epoch is, you know, just, just look at the overall, the, the average, right? Just try to ignore this uh, zigzag kind of uh, pattern but if you just look at the overall uh, trend here what ha what's happening is the loss is coming down in the first epoch and it is dramatically coming down for the second epoch so if you can uh, compare the same batch for the first and second you can see the there's massive difference here right there there is a lot of difference here so if you cannot see let me just try to 
show you this you know here you have just compare the loss here and here this is a massive difference and the same goes for here it, it has peaked somewhere around here and here you have this lower loss and it continues throughout this patch as you can see this line let me just show you this is the lowest cost line for the second epoch which is epoch number one and this is the lowest cost line baseline uh, oh sorry here this line somewhere here is the lowest so as you can see the best case has also improved and of course worst case has not improved but you, you are, we always try to focus on what's the average case not the best or the worst and which as you can see it has decreased a lot so this is it now of course our accuracy is not that great but actually 51% is not that bad for some you know like a shitty model here so it's it's not something that uh, you just you can just throw it away it, it is a nice model but there are better models of course models which reach more than um, accuracy of more than 90-95% which are trained on multiple GPUs and stuff but this is the building block of all those models using convolutions pooling properly so I hope you have understood how to use convolutions and where to use convolutions. So in the next video, maybe I'll talk about saving this model. So training convolution is really a hectic process. It's a long process. So, so you cannot just uh, train for, for months on end. So you just need to save the check. You, need, you just need to have a checkpoint so that you can resume from there. If we start this program, it will again start training from zero, from zero iteration. So we need to have some way to save it here so that we can uh, sorry for the noise by the way so we need to save this so that for the next time we start from there so PyTorch does provide that functionality and we will look at uh, how to save our models in the next video thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next